Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress WooCommerce video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well I've run into a bit of a problem. I've got a, a WooCommerce based store here using the Divi theme and I want to export all these products and import them into another site. Now you can use plugins to do this. Most of them will, will make you pay for something to do this. But WooCommerce has already got it built in and I'll just run through how to do that for anybody that doesn't know. If you go to your dashboard, just go down to your products. I think I've got about 25 or so products here and they're simple and they're also variable products as well. So they've got variable prices and attributes to them. If we look at the top here, we can just hit the export button and that'll bring up this little form here. Decide what you want to export. I want to export everything, so I'll leave that exactly as it is. And I check the metadata as well because I like to export that as well. Just hit generate CSV. I'm not going to do it because I've done it already, but if you click that button, what it's going to do is download a CS file, CSV file to your desktop here. I'm using Chrome. It'll download it down the bottom here. If you're using Firefox, you may have a, a download arrow or something up here. Edge and Explorer will probably give you a notification. Okay, so I've exported my product list. Now if I go to the new site, I've got a new site here, which is just a basic WordPress site. It's got the Divi theme installed and it's got WooCommerce installed. There's no actual products. If I go to the product page, all products, there's nothing in there. Okay, so it's prompted to say start import. So I can just click this import button to start importing some products. And here it's prompting us to choose a file. So we want to choose our product export CSV. You can either browse to it or just drag it up if it's on the bottom of your taskbar like mine is there. And there it is. Now let's go continue. I'm not going to update existing products because we don't have any, so I'm going to hit continue. And I get this error message. Now this has been happening since I think WordPress 4.7. I think I'm using 5.2 or so with these sites. Let's have a look quickly. Yep, 5.2.3. Okay, so sorry this file type is not permitted for security reasons. Well, it's a CSV, so you use those all the time with databases and stuff. So how do we get around this? Well, I came across this little plugin up here. It's absolutely free. I'll put this link down below. It's called Disable Real Meme Check or Mime Check. Simply hit the download button. It'll download it. I've got mine downloaded down there. Like I say, it's absolutely free says it's not been tested with latest three major releases of WordPress. Well, I've used it uh, several times and like I say, I'm running 5.2 and it, it does work fine with that. Okay, so let's go back to our site. Let's go to our plugins. I'm going to open this as a new page or a new tab, I should say. Simply hit the add new button upload plugin pull your file up there or browse to it okay when it's there just hit install now very lightweight doesn't take long to download or install activate the plugin okay that it's activated let's go back to our product import page now let's just refresh to get rid of that error message and again, I'm going to drag that file up, or you can browse to it yet again. There it is. Let's try that again. Continue. Fantastic. And it's gone through the process. It's asking us to map the fields, but I want everything exactly the same, so I'm not going to change a single thing. I'm just going to roll down to the bottom, hit the Run the Importer. And as you can see, the products are now being imported. bingo and it says import complete 25 products updated well let's make sure they're there just going to click on the all products and there they are 
and again there's variable products with different prices and attributes and the simple products it's pulled in the images that's really handy now it's up to you you may want to go back to your plugins once you've imported these deactivate and delete this plugin to stop other secure unsecure files being uploaded but I'm pretty sure you'll be okay but like I say if for security you may want to go back in and delete that plugin well that seems to have fixed that problem and that's working nicely so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel please comment because your comments do help me decide what videos to make next if you're interested in web development take a look down below we've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium web development courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers so do check it out once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.